Storyteller, you may be wondering, kid, why on earth would you select to read a book called Monday for Kid Time Story Time? After all, it is the most unloved day of the week. Well, precisely that's the reason why. Because Monday needs a little special oomph. And this most unusual book that I found comes from France. What? Oh, hey, Shilza Jura. Did you say France? This is a French book. Well, then Mondays, I assure you, will never be the same. Well, you are correct about that, especially if you <clears throat> live your Monday the way this Monday lives his Monday. It's really strange. It's a little bit of what grown-ups would call avant-garde, which is just a fancy word for maybe a little bit weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. And the illustrations, the drawings, the pictures, really kind of cool too. So let's see. Monday is his name. That's Monday, y'all, right there. You've never met him before, have you? Now you know what Monday looks like. Maybe now you'll like him. Monday awaits Tuesday. On Tuesday, he thinks about Wednesday. On Wednesday, he feels so small, so very small that by Thursday, he no longer knows if tomorrow will really be Friday. On Saturday, he's astonished. Sunday passes in silence. So clearly Monday has a bit of an identity crisis once his day of the week has passed. Hello, Monday. Hello, Lester Day. What would you say to a cup of tea, one sugar, and two spoons? Oh, that sounds lovely. Hello, Tom Morrow. Hello, Monday. I have come to say good day. Okay, so now he's got a couple of friends coming over. Got Lester Day which is kind of sounds like yesterday, right? And he's got Tom Morrow, which is tomorrow. So Monday is friends with yesterday and tomorrow, let's say. Also, isn't this a cool little square house? You know, cute, cute. And I like the trees. But you could draw trees like this. You could draw your own kid's book. Also, I like the big, thick pages. Our three friends sit in front of their grand piano. Lester Day plays backwards, Tom Morrow plays wonderfully well, and Monday is just delighted. They play for a long time. They have the time. After all, they are time itself, are they not? Good evening, Monday. Good night. So, they've played and played while the crow watched. And now, Monday is going to bed. Is it because his day is over? Hello! Hello! I am spring! I am green! I abound! Into the wind, I put its rustling sound. I quiver, timid, in the pinkness of a bud. I am tender, impatient, and eagerly awaited. I expand myself from leaves to blooms and fill the sky where my laughter booms. Oh, that's spring. Spring has arrived. Oh, salutations. I am summer. Through the still golden wheat, I make my way. While yet I stay, awaiting full ripening. I watch colors deepen as fragrances thicken and intensify. Content, I continue the light of midday through the hours as the shadow steals away, afraid. Oh, look at that. So summer is passing by on Monday. And the, cock, the crow goes back, crowing. And there's Monday looking up at summer, saluting. And there are the birds that are being born in the trees. And that's spring exiting. Remember spring? There's spring. There's spring exiting. There's summer. So I wonder if summer will, sure enough, there's summer leaving. And who is this? I am wild autumn. I turn, I burn, I blow and whirl. Red and brown, I confound. I surprise, I disguise, I fade away, I fly, I flee. And there's our Monday picking the apples off the apple tree. This fall is when the apples are ready. And there goes a crow flying away, perhaps south for the winter. And look who's here now. 
My name is winter. My country goes white with cold and silence. Formed of frost, my stars shiver. Time is unmoving when suddenly the wind whips up with ice and snow. Look at that. And there's, there's Monday, tucked away, hiding inside his little house. And there's a crow eating an old apple that's still left. It's tiny, tiny in the picture, but there he is. I wish you could touch it. Can you tell that winter is lumpy? It's like full of little ice marks or snow dots. Ooh, and the whole page is snow dots. You can feel it. There's Monday inside waiting. There's Monday outside shivering in the cold. Notice he's still in the cold, but the colors are fading and fading. And Monday itself is fading away. Do you remember at the beginning of the book how he talked about by Saturday and Sunday, he barely even knew himself? Could that be what's happening? He's fading away and oh, he's fading. He's almost gone, but for a little bit of his nose. And then here, But the story's not over. Winter waits. The crow waits. Everything is still. There's tomorrow. And there's yesterday, or Len today, and Tom Morrow, his friends, waiting. There's the crow waiting. Do you see on this white page? Do you see that little texture? See those little lumps? Could it be our friend making a return? Oh, Monday? Monday! The crow waits. Do you see the lump getting a little stronger there? See the little lumps on the page? Monday? Monday! His friends come out. They've brought the piano that they love to play. The crow is now waiting in the tree. No sign of him. Do you think he'll come back? Oh no. There they are, waiting in the cold but beautiful winter's night. And it begins to snow. And they snuggle together for warmth. And there's a little tear coming out of his eye because their friend still isn't there. Do you think he'll ever show up again? Do you remember Monday? He waited for Lester Day and thought about Tom Morrow. He felt so small, so very small that he knew almost nothing about Thursday or Friday. On Saturday, he dreamily smiled. Sunday passed in silence, the friends comforting each other. The bird is flying away. Do you remember Monday? Ah! <gasps> And the following Monday comes, albeit a little different. Monday is his name. So Monday did come back, but all Mondays are not the same, are they? So and this one came back and he's a little bit different. And I guess he'll be meeting up with his friends, Tom Morrow and Lenter Day any second now. I hope that you enjoy my crazy French story. I know that this is very unusual, but this is a classic story for children where I grew up. They make no sense, but they are very beautiful and artistic, and they make you think deep thoughts that you yourself cannot understand. So, that is a very French kid time story time. I agree. Very French indeed. And I hope that you enjoyed, and that Mondays will never be quite the same. See you next time, kid on Kid Time Story Time.